Welcome to all. Today we are going to learn about Edgeworth Duopoly model. We will discuss in detail of this Edgeworth model. F. Y. Edgeworth in, 19, in 1857 is a French economist also attacked the Cournot's Duopoly solution. He criticized Cournot's assumption that each duopolist believed that his rival will continue to produce the same output irrespective of what he himself might produce. So this model made a significant departure from the Diopoli model given by uh, Cournot and Bittrich. Okay, so the change in this model is Edgeworth assumption that the productive capacity of each the firm each form in the duopoly market is limited. This is a one different uh, assumption which he made in the uh, duopoly model. We will see some important assumption as a Bittrend and Cournot model is also assumed that the, there are two forms and the products of the two forms are homogeneous. Both the forms equal per unit cost. The cost of production is same for both uh, firms. The productive capacity of the each firm which already quoted it is limited. Both the firms sell the maximum possible output at the competitive price. Maximum possible output with the competitive price where price become equals to average cost. Okay. Each firm consider itself to be independent in making the price output decision. It means the mutual interdependence is ignored as that of Cournot's and the Bertrand model. Each firm assume that the price of the rivals will remain unchanged. This is the same which uh, other two uh, models also we saw that one the price of the rivals will remain unchanged thinking that they'll keep on the adjusting now we'll discuss in detail with the help of the uh, graph in detail now here in this graph dc and the dc1 so here uh, we'll see that the dc dc and dc1 is the demand curve facing each duopolist we will say duopoly 1 or maybe duopoly 2 so two duopolists are there so each okay uh, demand curve facing downward sloping ob and ob1 are the maximum possible output here so ob and ob1 is the maximum possible output that each number one and number two producer can able to sell. If they form collusion, they will set the OP monopoly price. So this is the monopoly price of OP. If they form the collusion, they can fix very high price so that they can reap maximum profit. And the OP price, what we can say here, the OP price is which both the duopolists sell their maximum possible output at this price level they can sell the maximum possible output that is ob of the one and ob one of the, the two duopolis they can sell the maximum possible output now assume that so the two duopolis happen to charge the price op one that is the uh, this is the maximum monopoly price the producer 1 and 2 will produce and sell way of uh, output that is uh, less amount of output. Now suppose the producer think of revising his price policy. One of them is a revising price policy. Producer will believe that uh, producer will, uh, that is a second believer will keep his price unchanged at the monopoly price. So regardless whatever price he himself charge. So with the producer second, that is the price remaining fixed at the, that is OP1, producer one realizes that he will set the price slightly below the 
op1 price he will able to attract the sufficient number of producers uh, of seconds that is the second customers so that he can sell the maximum output of that is a ob of amount of the output so what happened this would yield greater profit to the producer one than he is making what at present the monopoly price what he said present so thus in that diagram we can say if the producers lower the price from op that is a op2 that is a r he will able to sell his enter maximum amount of output that is a ob of amount of the o for the or price that is we can say obsr o b s r it is a greater profit than o a e p we can say that this is o a e p this is a o a e p lesser profit than o b s r that is this is a greater profit because of the change now here but the producer one reduce uh, the price from op2 or so this uh, producer two will find most of his customers so they are deserting him and sales are considerably reduced for the producer b so then what happened once again this people again thinking that the producer one is a remain unchanged so producer two would going to uh, change his price so what happened here he going to change the price from op to o r1 so at this price what happened the majority of output he can able to say then earlier oa1 ep so this is a lesser uh, that is uh, the monopoly price lesser output is selling now greater output with good profit also earned by the uh, that is a producer too this price cut will continue so this price cut will continue so till the what we can say that the competitive price that is a oq level of price is been set now beyond this if you keep reducing means that is a uh, lesser than is average cost they going to incur the loss so this is the competitive price oq is a competitive level of price they going to set then uh, this is not an equilibrium actually this is not an equilibrium then one of is that is among the two people one of them th thinking that the rivals will remain fix the price so one of them would going to increase the price that is the op op price so he can able to uh, uh, that is going to get the maximum profit by thinking that one one of his rivals once again that is the producer two think that so his a pro, his a rival will remain uh, the monopoly price so he going to set little lesser than the price which we going to which he going to uh, selling at present so this price cut will continue so both the uh, form uh, one and two so according to edgeworth it is a solution of one of the perpetual disequilibrium that is price is oscillating between monopoly price and the competitive price it is a oscillating between the monopoly price that is a op op and the competitive price oq so that is why there is no determinate and unique equilibrium of duopoly which is suggested by the edgeworth model so there is no any uh, determinate a uh, solution uh, equilibrium solution which is given so there is a oscillating between monopoly price to that is a competitive price so this is continuously will going to have happen in the duopoly model which is suggested by the edgeworth thank you all thank you for watching